Sean Roden and Dennis Wolf go toe to toe at the 2013 Mr. Olympia event. They placed third and fourth, respectively, with Dennis Wolf inching ahead of Sean Roden. I'm doing a string of matches with these two. These guys had a, an awesome feud. Now think about it, if it was not for Kai Green and Phil Heath, the doctor, these two would have been trading Sandow's back and forth, I can imagine, for sure. The front relaxed position, keep in mind we do not have a rear relaxed, so I don't really notch this one as a point, it's not fair. I do prefer Sean Roden. I can't recall if last time I did rec or pick Sean Roden in the front relaxed, and I don't like to remember which one I picked. I like to start off fresh, so I'm not biased and urged to pick one or the other because I did last time. Anyway, much more aesthetic, and when I look at the lats of Dennis Wolf, it appears they are a little unsymmetrical. Not only that, but there is some stretch marks as well, and there is the missing calf. So there is things that are going to be marked against him, I am sure, in this matchup. But anyway, we will begin with the front... Oh, I guess somebody who's messing around with my things here. Anyway, I guess I can't complain. This is this is live. I have to judge this now. We're going we're doing this bass backwards. If you got that there, that was a little joke. Dennis Wolf is in my opinion edging out a victory, a slight one that is in the most muscular pose against Sean Roden. It's hard to judge this one. It's a different type of pose altogether. But I think the crab position represents the most muscular more so than this actual fantastic version of Sean Road. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. But you look at the arms. I mean, you look at the vascularity level. He just looks like a beast. Does he not? So I guess the ab and thigh. Yeah, like I thought. This will be the next because we're doing this backwards. I'm going to be doing so many matches between these two that I might as well shake things up. Don't be surprised if I start the next one with a, a side shot. Who knows? Ab and thigh. A no-brainer. When you look at the ab department, I mean, come on, Dennis Wolf, he is a little bit problematic there. He may have had some hernia issues, belly button issues. Either way, it does show up when these guys diet down and show their all their muscles. Sean Roden looks like a Greek god here. Not to mention his thighs look good too. They look good too. Sean Roden picks up an easy point here. The back developments now, this is... A close one, and this is very debatable. These guys are a judge's nightmare. You can look at this one of two ways. Dennis Wolf, harder, grainier. Look at the back, and you look at the hamstrings, more separation there, more striated. Look at the delts, they're monstrous compared to rodents, and as are the traps. The outer lats, much better, much more, much more muscular. So he gets the win, right? Look at the biceps, guys. Look at the calves, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the glutes. Look at the lower back. All in the favor of Sean Roden. But at the end of the day, it is a very tight decision. Very tight decision indeed. I hate giving a point when there is not one due. So let's ignore this. Go to the rear lat spread. Dennis Wolf. Now I noticed this about the the best of Sean Ray series. Or Sean Ray, sorry. The Sean Roden series. Sean Roden's rear lat spread, he phoned it in here in 2013. I don't know why or how. All the other versions were much better. But other than that, 2013 is Sean Roden's best, in my opinion, that is. Again, we're dealing with a better set of glutes, better set of calves. But Dennis Wolf, look at his hamstrings. I mean, he's a Boeing 747 jet. Not to mention the hard crispness of his back. Just night and day. A little unsymmetrical, though, I will say. He could be dinged for that, but I'm going to go ahead and give him the rear lat spread. All right, side shots. And in my opinion, the side shots do favor Dennis Wolf. I don't like this way Sean Roden is snapping. The side tricep shot. It's a side tricep, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Forgot to announce that one. And I must say, I am quite impressed with Sean Roden's tricep itself. Considering there is a lot of footage from him from the 2018 and his side tricep was very poor, I guess you could say, with uh, not being disrespectful. Dennis Wolf, not the best in this one, but enough to beat Sean Roden, I believe. I like the way he's hitting it too. It's to spec. Side chest shot. Now I'm looking at the score sheets here and it's 
it's going to be hard for Sean Roden to get out of this one, considering I am leaning once again towards Dennis Wolf. Now, I'm not playing favorites in this one. I'm not going to pick Sean Roden because Dennis Wolf won the last one. I'm being fair. I didn't even remind myself which poses I gave to which gentleman because, like I said, that can sway my decision making in this. I just feel that the overall hardness, the graininess of Dennis Wolf is a little better. And he's bigger, too. I like his display. Muscle separation goes to Sean Roden, though. So I could see this being a real judge's nightmare. All right, we're almost at the end of this matchup, and we're looking at the front lat spreads, and that's that's quite bizarre for my channel. But anyway, I like to shake things up for you guys, and Sean Roden sure is shaking things up here. Now, why is his front lat spread so successful in 2013 at the Mr. Olympia, but his rear lat spread was terrible, let's face it. Very strange, very vexing. You look at the actual lats themselves, the muscles. Dennis Wolf, he is a, a, a Dorian Yates. You can see there's lats. It's all meat. But Sean Roden, if you look at the silhouette, his is a little bit better. And I am going to go ahead and give this one to Roden because of, you guessed it, the non-symmetrical lats of Dennis. And we've seen that in the rear lat spread as well. And cherry on top of the cake would be a... A missing calf for Dennis Wolf. I guess that's not a cherry on the cake. It's a negative thing. But either way, Sean Roden. I can't believe it. He gets the front lat spread. As well as the front double by because his biceps are much bigger. His abs much better. Dennis Wolf is a big, sturdy lad. I could see maybe, we'll say 14% of the, the public would give this to Dennis Wolf because of the hard crispness. But those 14% would get bombarded with negativity in the comment section below. Sean Roden's his arms were so full here. And I hate to sound like a broken record, but compare him with the 2018, if you will. And I'm telling you, his arms really died down in 2018. So 2013, Sean Roden was a phenom. Just fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen... These two, like I said, are a judge's nightmare. It could go either way. Every time these two stepped on stage. But this time, once again, I am going to go with Dennis Wolf. It was a very close contest, guys. But it was a weak rear lat spread for Sean Roden. A couple other shots. And let's face it, Dennis Wolf dominated, in my opinion, that is, in the side shots. And that's a mathematical equation. Sean Roden looked fantastic. It's probably two of their best versions, but Dennis Wolf picks up the Duke once again. This one was a little closer, in my opinion, than the last matchup, the 2014 Arnold's Classics. I believe that's the matchup that I did. Anyway, I will honor the first request for a matchup between these two. Now, I don't want anybody to want me to do an older matchup or a newer matchup with the Different gentlemen, it has to be between these two in the same event. And they should have placed fairly close to each other. I need, I'm going to need to have actual footage. So you can't just pick an event that maybe didn't even happen. And I don't want to hear no requests for Jack Lulene versus Charles Atlas or something along them lines. Hope you enjoy this one, ladies and gentlemen. Hit thumbs up if you did. Nothing wrong with Jack Lulene, by the way. Or the other Charles Atlas. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe. Here we I am.